So I'm back with another old tea review from David's Tea. Uh, this tea, I don't even know when this tea came out. <clears throat> I think it was like years and years ago. But um, I kind of found out about this tea from some members of my group that I run. And I kind of was like, oh, you know, like, what's this tea like? And they're like, it's the best watermelon tea ever. So I was able to find some, get my hands on some. It is David's Tea's Luscious Watermelon. So... Um, it is an herbal. I just have it in this really pretty um, Christmas David's Tea Mug here. And the loose leaf is very similar looking to Melon Drop, I think. And Sour Watermelon. Sour Watermelon is another really nice tea. So, oh, he got to a big like chunk going on here. Um, so sorry for the lighting. I was doing this review somewhere. That's a little dark, but um, here's what the tea looks like. It smells... Just like sweet watermelon it smells very similar to sour watermelon but more of kind of like a sweeter version i do know that a lot of people are looking for this tea and it's not uh too easy to get your hands on just because everyone loves it so um i do have some more coming in the mail that i was able to find I'm super excited so for now i just have one lonely old tin of it so i did do a cold brew i cold brew this for about three or four days um, and I kind of just forgot about it in the fridge. I didn't have time to review it. So it's just been sitting in the fridge. Uh, I did two perfect spoons and then I just kind of let it brew for days and days and days. Um, I'm pretty excited because I've not tried luscious watermelon before. I have tried melon drop, sour watermelon, melonade, Miami melon, all those, but I have not tried luscious watermelon. I don't know why they ever got rid of this tea. I've just heard nothing but good about this tea. So here's hoping they do bring this back. I have it in my fall mug just because september is here um and i'm pretty excited about that so let's give luscious watermelon a try okay so it's a very okay so sometimes i don't know if this is true or not i do know that when it comes to older fruit infusions um, I find sometimes the flavor kind of wears out it's not as fresh um, and since this tea is so old I do expect that even when steeping it for so so long so I'm just getting more of like a light juicy sweet kind of melon flavor I'm that's all I'm really getting though so it might just be the age of the tea yeah this is a very light tea it's not super duper sweet but it is kind of like a nice natural sweetness to it I didn't add any sweetener or anything to it, but um, it kind of just tastes like a, a pure, juicy watermelon slice. Just because you guys know when you have the watermelon, it's not like a burst of flavor in your face. It's more like water in your mouth. It's like, I think watermelon's like 90% water or something, but um, that's basically what I would say. This is like a 100% just you bite into a watermelon. You get that light, light sweetness, juiciness, but that's about it. That's exactly what this is with this tea. So I wasn't expecting too much. I was expecting more of a bold watermelon flavor, kind of like Miami melon is a pretty bold watermelon flavor, but not like this. So I think what they were trying to do here is kind of just give off that authentic, juicy, kind of natural, light, sweet watermelon flavor, which uh, is pretty good. Um, I do like this one, but I do honestly now trying it, I think I do prefer other watermelon teas. Just because I know how strong and how pungent other watermelon teas in my collection are compared to this one. I'm one who I'm more of like a burst in your face kind of flavor uh, tea gal. That's what I like. Um, nice light teas are nice sometimes too. But I'm just more of a I want to be able to taste the whole experience of the tea. So um, it's nice but I have had better watermelon teas. Would I repurchase this one? I would if it came back. Would I stock up? I wouldn't stock up. Um, I think if someone was selling some, I might buy some, but I'm not, I don't think I'm actually actively going to look for this one anymore. This one was on my ISO list, but now trying it, I don't think I'm going to look for anymore. Um, and rating out of 10, it's like a seven out of 10. Only reason being, I do wish the flavor was more bold shot in your face kind of watermelon and it's not with this one. It's more of a light, sweet, juicy kind of watermelon flavor. So it's not too pungent with the flavor, which I'm kind of bummed out about but hey i guess that's uh that's why it's called luscious watermelon because it's really authentic but uh yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this uh quick little oldie review of luscious watermelon by david's tea uh let me know what you guys think of this one in the comments uh, i do not know if they're gonna re-release this one but 
here's hoping they do to the people that love it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review and thank you guys so much for watching.